Hey guys, I've been wanting to talk about um, this device for a while. You know, if you have a HP Pro Book or Elite Book that has a docking port underneath, you definitely need to get this um, device. This is actually a docking station by HP. And, you know, I had this for about a couple years now. And I have to say, this is probably one of the best um, devices that you could buy for your laptop. For the simple fact that you could take your laptop and turn it into a desktop system. I mean, th this is what you need. What's really great about it, you know, besides, you know, using your, de using your um, laptop as a desktop system is the fact that um, you have all these ports and connections on the back where um, you can just, you know, um, hook up just about anything you want. So here we go. So basically, you could hook up a keyboard a mouse and a monitor up to your laptop using this dock and not only that but if you you know if you want a um, computer or a laptop that has a higher resolution screen or you need one to use you could just hook a monitor up to it and this is probably one of the easiest ways to do it you know um, I've been using this now for like a couple of years and I just love it and let me see what model it is this is let me take a look real quick. This is the HP A7E32AA. You know, there's a lot of docks out there, and there's a lot of models that HP make, but I think this is one of the original ones. This is one of the older ones, but um, again, if you have a laptop or a Pro Book or Elite Book that have a docking port underneath, this is the one that you need to get because this one connects to your laptop using um, this um, connector right here um, the docking port right here and there's others that HP make that uses just a USB cable but I really like this one and I'll show you why because if you look on the back um, you have all these ports of connectors that you can use and again you can connect your monitor so if you have a low resolution um, screen on your laptop you can hook up a full HD or even higher resolution laptop uh i'm sorry higher resolution monitor up to your laptop using this so right now i'm gonna take a look at the back this is the back of it so right what you have right now is your ethernet port you have two usb ports in the rear and you also have two usb ports on the side right here make sure you can see it yeah so you got two on the side and you got two in the back, and I think that's a total of four that you have on here. Then you have your DVI um, port, which is used for, you know, um, they used to use this for monitors. So if you have a monitor that has this connection, you can use it for that DVI. And you also have your display port. And what's really great, you know, about having a display port, um, you can still hook this up to a monitor or even a TV that has an HDMI input. All you have to do is buy a cable that has both, you know, it has um, an HDMI connector on one end and a display port on the other end, and you plug it up um, to this, and you can actually hook this up to your um, TV too as well, and it will work. So you just got to get the uh, right cable for it. And not only that, but the display port actually gives you not only video, but of course, it gives you audio so you can get audio and video just like you would if you was using a HDMI cable just by using this display port so it gives you audio as well so that's a nice feature and you have your VGA port serial port and um, printer connector port which you know nobody uses now they use um, USB but you still have it there if you need it and right here you have two ports right here um, what are these called these are called a PS2 ports so basically this is for your mouse and your keyboard. I believe the purple one is for your um, keyboard and the green one is for your mouse. So basically if you have an older style keyboard, you don't have to use your USB ports. You could just plug your, you know, your old style keyboard directly into the back of this and your mouse as well. But if you do have USB um, keyboards and mouses like everybody have now, you can plug them up to the side or to the rear. Then you have your audio in and your audio out jack. And what's really great about that, and this is what's really great about the dock, you can hook um, 
a stereo system or a T amp system directly to this dock with your monitor and your keyboard and you could just detach you know you could um, attach your laptop to it and detach it and you could basically set up a whole system like this and then when you are at home and then when you want to go you could just take your laptop with you and you can leave everything connected this is what make having a dock really great you can you know set up everything you can leave it connected to this dock and when you get back home, all you have to do is just connect your laptop to it and you have your whole um, audio system or video system. So you have that as well. And I don't know what this is. Can't really see it. Uh, I forgot to mention also you have your um, power connector right here. And this is really important. So if you do decide to buy this um, type, type of docking station, you have to remember to get a 90 watt power adapter. This particular model uses a 90 watt. And if you try to use like a smaller adapter, like a 60 watt or a 65 watt that came with your laptop, um, it's not going to work. And I found this out real quick. And that's the thing. Um, I guess I lost or misplaced my adapter that came with this docking station. So I thought I could use my old adapter that come with my HP Elite book. Uh, Pro book so it because basically it's the same adapter it's just a lower wattage and when I put it in it would not work it would not even power up the laptop it wouldn't charge the laptop and laptop wouldn't even light up it looked like it was dead and that was because I was using the wrong adapter so just remember that if you do get this dock you know you could buy this online on eBay or Amazon but if you get it online just make sure it comes with the 90 watt adapter if you use any type of other adapter, such as a 65 or 60, it's not going to work. It's, it's not enough power to power um, this this um, docking station or the laptop. So you need um, 90 watts. Just make sure of that. But yeah, th I've been using this for a while and I love it. And I'm going to show you how it works real quick. I have my um, ProBook 6360. Yeah, I know you. You know a lot of you guys have actually um, purchased this um, notebook since I've uh, made a video of it. About I made a video on this about maybe two or three years ago, and I have to tell you, I'm still using this laptop today. This is my daily driver. And again, if you have one of these, you know it has um, this port underneath the laptop, and this is your um, docking station port, so you don't have to use a USB cable. So she had this port right here and it connected it's real easy all you have to do is sit down here like this there we go and it locks um so you put it so you can see it so basically that's it when you um just um put on a port like this it just automatically locks and then when you have a monitor hooked up to this, um, if you have a 1080p monitor, it will go to that resolution because this is um, has an HD resolution which is 1366 by 768. So if you want a higher resolution or if you have a monitor that is 1080p, it will automatically set your monitor to 1080p as soon as you plug this in like this. So that's another nice feature. And then you can use this as a desktop. And let's say for example, there's no battery in this, but let's say for example you have a extended battery, like a nine cell battery on the back. You can actually um there's a switch where you can make room so you can put your battery also on this. And I'm gonna show you how. So to release this, you just hit the um, just hit the eject button right here. And there you go. Yeah, it's pretty simple. And then if you want to you know plug it in you just set it back down again and it locks but if you do have an extended battery on the back as I mentioned it will still fit all you have to do is hit a switch right here there's a latch and you pull it back and it gives you the room to put a nine cell battery with the laptop connected to this but if you're just using a regular six cell you could just leave it on like this so this is another nice feature and I believe, you know, um, if you have a second battery on, on your laptop, I, I believe it will still fit because there's a battery that you could buy for this that is an extended battery 
that will allow you to even use this stock still if you have an extended battery uh, mounted underneath this. So this is really a great device. Yeah, so I, I would definitely recommend getting one of these for your um, Pro Book or Elite Book. And I'm telling you, um, you know, once you upgrade this laptop, this is a 6360 to, um, to a Core i7 processor, and using this dock, it's like you are using a desktop system. You can just about, um, it would just about run anything, to be honest. You could edit or stream 1080p video. And I think you can even stream 4K video with this particular um, laptop. I read a review on it where you can actually do that. Uh, I've seen a um, company that was actually streaming 4K video using this laptop. And it used, I think, 93 or 98% of the processor. So you can do it, but it's going to really um, put, a, you know, put a lot of stress on the laptop. But you can run 4K video on it if you have it, uh, if you have it hooked up right. But yeah, this is what I use it for. I use it as a desktop system. So I'm going to show you something real quick. Let's see if I get it. And what's interesting about this is the fact that um, it locks on like just like this to the docking station, right? And what's really weird about this dock, they made it where you could actually mount this whole thing on a wall. You know, you could dock it like this. And of course, it, you know, it, there's mounts on the back, I believe, a keyhole. Okay, right here, if you see this. This is kind of crazy, though. But they put a keyhole on this thing just to um, show you that you can, you know, mount this on a wall or something, which doesn't make much sense, you know. But it's a keyhole there, so you can do it. And I guess it would look something like this, right? Yeah. So I guess they did that so you can actually mount it on the wall. But I don't see why would you want to. You can actually just put this underneath your desk. It's small enough. And it's not that wide. You know, it's not even wide as a laptop. So you can't stick this underneath your desk or hide it if you don't want no one to see it. And just leave your monitor and your keyboard on top. You know, and it looks like a desktop system. But again, this is a great device. You know, I would definitely recommend getting it. Because you can do so much with this. And, okay, one more thing I wanted to mention as well. How much time I have left. Wow, it's been 12 minutes. Um, this is your eject button. So that's how you disconnect your laptop from the dock. And this is your power button. So if you want to turn this laptop on, you just hit the power button and it comes on. And I'm trying to see, is there anything else to mention about this? Um, I think that's pretty much it. So yeah, this is really a nice device. I would definitely recommend anybody. And again, if you have a HP laptop that has a docking port underneath, it's going to work. So definitely it works with the 8460 Elite Book. And also work with the um, Pro Book 6360, which is this one. And also the larger 15 inch, the 6560 and the 6570. Those are 15 inch, so it works with that. It also works with the 14 inch Pro Book. And again, this is just something, you know, nice to really have for your laptop. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.